come and dream with me. Hi and welcome to this What Do You Want to Watch spoiler cast for 1995's Mortal Kombat! I'm Ashley Obley, joining me today, Dylan Blight. Get over here. <laughs> Alright, please be aware that we will be freely discussing anything and everything about the plot themes in any other film. So, if you haven't watched it, please come back later. Uh, it's a good one. Uh, so with that said, let's jump to our discussion of Mortal Kombat, directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, written by Kevin Droney, based on Mortal Kombat by Midway Games, starring Robin Xiao, uh, Lyndon Ashby, Carrie Hiroyuki Tagawa, Bridget Wilson, Talisa Soto and Christopher Lambert, uh, three martial arts warriors journey to a faraway island to engage in battle to save the earth. Their aim is to make sure that truth triumphs and fight against evil. Dylan, I'm surprised to have found out you'd never watched this film before. I'd never watched this movie before. No. Never watched arguably the greatest video game adaptation of all time. Is that is that what is that what the title it held for a while? Once it appears until I guess recently. I mean, yeah, okay, uh, maybe back in the day. <laughs> um, so this was an interesting watch. This is <laughs> this was enjoyable. I'll say. Let me put that out there. I'll say it was enjoyable, but also it's everything I don't want video game adaptations to be. Basically. If if you don't know what I mean, I I feel like it should be obvious if you watched it, but it is very much doing the thing that I feel like definitely a lot of people want, but it's not what I want, which is that it's just trying to recreate as much as the video game feel, characters, music, one-liners, moments, you know, like as many things it can translate from the game to the movie, that's what this movie... uh, that's what this movie is trying to do. And it succeeds at it. You can't really take away from that. Like, it su- succeeds in bringing the characters to life. Um, of course, some of the special effects are, is quite bad in this movie, but you know, that's a, <laughs> a thing of its, a thing of its age, uh, for sure. Um, but at the same time, I just feel like it's rather nonsensical, but I guess also the game was, you know, like plot wise, it's just sort of absolute nonsense. Um, I don't really care about any of the characters more so than I would playing the original games back on the PS1 in my fucking bedroom. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And, and maybe that's because there wasn't much of those characters to get, <laughs> to get attached to, uh, in the first place. But yeah. And I, the other thing that kind of stood out in my, in my short list of dot points in my head was, boy, oh boy, am I looking forward to the, the upcoming release? The, the recent Mortal Kombat movie that we're getting this year, having that R18 rating, <laughs> because there's so many moments in this movie where I'm like, that should have been gory, that should have been, like, full on. Like, there's so many just sort of let down. Like, like the dis- ending. It falls on a yeah. bunch of spikes. Yeah, nothing. No blood. <laughs> yeah, absolutely nothing. It's the spike PG- is just holding all the blood in. That's how PG that works. Thing. Like, even, even the start of the movie, right, when... um. I don't, I'm not the biggest Mortal Kombat fan, so I don't remember all their names. Uh, what's his name? Shang Tsung, right? Yep. And he's, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he, he kills what's his face, his brother. Kills and then he's Liu up Kang's there. brother. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I, and if I was redoing this movie, I'd be like, rip his fucking spine out, right? Cause he's, it's facing the camera and he's like yelling or what, and yelling. He's like, if you come, blah, 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 this, stuff. and that, that's like the perfect time if, if, if he was redo this movie today, it's like, just have him fucking rip that spine out. Or just put his foot straight <laughs> through. So, you know what I mean? But it feels like yeah. it's missing that. And there's, and that's just the first scene. But there's so many other scenes in the movie where I'm like, man, this should, this would have been a lot better if they'd just kind of gone all in. Um, and I don't know if that's what people thought when this movie came out. Maybe people didn't really think too much about it. I don't. I don't know. But it definitely stood out. And I, I can admit it definitely possibly... Probably did stand out more in the back of my mind, just subconsciously knowing that I'm getting an R18 Mortal Kombat yeah. movie. You know what I mean? Like, so I can't help but subconsciously think like this would have been better if it was a bit more violent. This scene would have had a bit more impact. If it was a bit more violent, you know. 
Um, and it's not even like looking for violence for violence sake. It's just because like if, if I was a carryover, especially like, the given court, the f- game franchise. Yeah. It's like, if I'm talking about things I don't really like when they adapt games to movies, I hate when they c- commit too much to just trying to bring it to life. And I'm not saying completely ignore what makes the game, the game. And if you was to pick like a, your top three things that make Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, it would kind of be, I guess, the characters, the fighting, the fatalities, you yeah. know, like the, the violence, right? Yeah. And th- this, this movie gets a lot of it right, where a lot of the characters are very much like they are in the, the games, especially those, the, cause I think this came out when like maybe three or four of the Mortal Kombat's were out or I something think like that. Probably. So. Um, it was only when the first couple was out. Um, but it, 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 the one thing that's definitely missing in translation is that the violence, mm. you know, and I'm, even though it was pixelated violence to a degree, um, uh, playing the originals, but it was still violence. And that's what doesn't really, that's what we're missing here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I remember vividly enjoying it at the time, I think. So this is my story about Mortal Kombat. I remember going to see it in cinemas. Oh, wow. Well, because <laughs> it came out in 1995. Um, probably not that. Well, I guess it, it, it is pretty tame. So I'm sure it was fine. So I, I was, th- I was a, like three. So I would have been like seven, <laughs> seven going on eight potentially. So I watched it. Who took you, who took you to this? My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, and then, but then I came back. So I'd watched it when I was visiting them in Melbourne. I came back to Brisbane to tell my friends about it. And they're like, no, it's not out. You're lying. You watch Street Fighter. <laughs> really? They were convinced that I didn't watch the movie because maybe there was like a staggered release or something. Or maybe it didn't come to Brisbane for whatever reason back in those days. There was only so many prints. But yeah, that that's the thing that I connect to this film. You didn't actually just watch Street Fighter? No, I'm very sure I didn't watch Street Fighter. I don't <laughs> think I've ever watched Street Fighter. I think Street Fighter was a couple years earlier, so... Yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure Kylie Minogue wasn't in the film that I watched, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's a good time. It's just uh, quite a interesting film. I think the special effects are interesting for the time. I feel like they did stuff that was probably cool interesting at the time but obviously it doesn't hasn't aged particularly well uh like the sub-zero stuff i don't think <laughs> looks fantastic oh, any, scorpion or sub-zero scorpion are just just or reptile bad. yeah you know it's reptile just... running around you know uh but the fights themselves are pretty solid like uh especially the Liu kang reptile fight when they're actually he's an actual person not some creepy cgi monster i do think gore looks pretty good considering he, he looks all right considering yeah I considering think, the, the time and yeah, that yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. he definitely he, goro definitely looks a lot better than the anything rest else. of the, anything else in the movie uh but yeah i guess yeah I, I would agree that the fighting just the the general choreography the hand-to-hand combat stuff is definitely a strong point of this movie like you can tell yeah. that that's something that actually put time and effort into getting right yeah. and doing it well and i feel like they do like a lot of the fights actually look quite good you can tell they're, they've choreographed these these fight scenes and they're put together quite well and um the actors even the ones who uh um weren't like martial artists or whatever and you know just general actors who mm. did have them how much training to do this sort of stuff they they do the work and they they put in a pretty good effort and it's not too uh jump you know it's not too overly edited only yeah. when it kind of needs to be to cover special effects or Stuff like that, I guess. So, yeah, it does look pretty good in the fight stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, you know, you get the odd characters of the Mortal Kombat world. Uh, I, I found it interesting. Luke Kang is super angry and depressed toward the start of the film. Uh, they're very much the outsider of his tribe and the loner. Then he ends up being, like, super jerky the entire rest of the film. <laughs> uh, you know, the interesting switch. I really like Johnny Cage. I think he's great. Uh, and I think Christopher Lambert makes a really good Raiden, like so even though that it, it, this is my he was the worst shouldn't. character in the movie. <laughs> he's That's, like ooh, odd, yeah. 
He was the person I hated the most yeah. <laughs> in this movie, <laughs> was the Raiden. I mean, he uh, doesn't do anything, which is the problem. It's just, I just, I just really did not like that performance. Like, he was, he was really hamming it up, like, uh, to, to about a hundred, I feel like. And I know, obviously, everyone in this is kind of playing a, a rather silly character, but he, it, he seemed like he was a, in a different movie at times. Mm. Like, everyone else is like, we're in a video game movie and they're playing it appropriately. He's like, I'm in a video game movie, you know? <laughs> like, <he> was, <laughs> I, I'm ahead of my time. I know what this is. <laughs> He's like, I'm fucking He's going for it. Yeah, uh, he was going for it. <laughs> um, and then the other, th- the thing that actually annoyed me was, uh, you know, uh, Sue, what's his name? Um, Shang Tsung, you know, saying the lines from the film, like fatality. Fatality. And then flawless victory. And he says it. And it wasn't a flawless victory. No, it wasn't. And Liu Kang also says it, flawless victory. And it wasn't a flawless victory because he got hit. He doesn't even say it very good. It's the other thing that kind of annoyed me. Like, even when he's like, fatality. It's not fatality. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, if you're going to do the line. They should have had, like, an announcer character. Yeah, they should have just added one and had it. Like, if you want to put the lines in, then just, yeah, have an announcer character. Fuck it, go in. I, I would have much preferred that. And then you could have had like flawless victory, you know, like he's yeah. just like flawless victory. I'm like, yeah. look, it's not sensual. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want sensual flawless victory. I want to, I want a fucking amp. I want amped up flawless victory. Uh, I'm talking about amped up. Uh, the guy who played Kano. Yeah. Oh boy. He was on a lot of, he was on a lot of drugs, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, was, he, he was on a lot because it just, he comes out with the most like put on Australian accent or whatever it's supposed to be. Oh, mate, <laughs> bloody Kano's here to fuck you up, darling. You know, like all this yeah. sort of shit. I'm like, oh my god, such an stop. piece of yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to Josh Lawson doing a better job, hopefully. Just um, a bit, just there's nothing to the characters. Like, okay, yeah, um, his, his eye I, thing looked weird as well. It looked I like mean? it was CGI'd on later. And not like good CGI, it was just painted like a static image. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was weird. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of weird special effects like that, actually, where it was, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. It was like, it was like it was sat there. I don't know, it was like they was wearing a, they just put a layer and they just like, yeah, I don't know, occasionally. Yeah, like it was like if I tried to do it in an afternoon, I'm like on my computer, <laughs> kind of look. <laughs> look dodgy like that kind of thing is, is what it looked like no, man. um and then i guess the other thing that kind of annoyed me is you got scorpion sub sub zero um just like you could very like very much or i think it was maybe the guy who played it was either scorpio or sub zero one of them just like had the most white guy above eye look <laughs> you know if you know what i mean like it was just very obvious that it was the white it's just like some white dude under some there guy. like come on now yeah why? Get together. I mean, you could, it's super easy to get. I mean, apparently they were doing like full on wushu rigs and that kind of thing from Hong Kong and that kind of stuff. You could have just gone somebody who knew how mm-hmm. to do that to wear the clothes. Yeah. yeah, you would have thought, but apparently not. Um, then even Sonya, right? Mm-hmm. Her character is just kind of silly. She literally, yeah. <laughs> when they get to the scene where she follows onto the boat, so she's been tracking Kano for, I don't know where from to where. Uh, she, I guess, sees Kano enter this boat. She literally runs onto the boat with a bunch of people, just who, who all could kill her the moment she walks on. And then she just walks in like it's a party boat and goes, where is he? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's literally a pirate ship. And it's got all these weird, shady characters on it. And she just wanders in and goes, I've seen him come on here. I'm like, what are you on? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's a bit ballsy, but anyway. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a, it's a silly movie. Really. It's, <laughs> it's a just- silly movie, silly plot. Why did he want to fight Sonya Blade the entire time? You think she was weak and it would be easy, easy win? I guess. I don't know. I mean, she doesn't I mean- really get any big fights. Like other, she has to fight Kano, but she has that. She has, yeah, she has that one fight against Kano, and that's that's kind of it. I guess that's the other problem. And I'm wondering how this, the more the recent, the movie that'll be out in a week when we're posting this, I'm wondering how that will handle the characters better. 
because obviously this is focused on um fuck what's his name Luke, Luke, Hank, Luke Hank. right yep. yeah yeah He's the main character, and it's focused on him, and it, it's his story of avenging his brother's death, you know, um, stop the the army of darkness kind of coming through to Earth, s- s- typical storyline type thing, right? Um, but because of that, most other characters get thrown to the side, and because of that, they they have to work out how to do the. I mean, it's it's a whole thing of how do you adapt a fighting game to a to a movie and have it sort of make sense. So I'm wondering how better they will do that in a, in the updated version like mm. will every character or at least the main characters get at least their one cool moment. fight you know will they all get their one moment will they all have their own um reasons for being or wanting to go to mortal combat that'll actually make sense more so than i walked onto a pirate <laughs> I got pirate tricked ship before walk on because, a pirate ship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or literally when it comes to I know he's not he's not in anyone, but Johnny Cage just being like, oh, some random dude's like, hey, go join Fight Club because they don't treat you properly here. They don't, like, yeah, right. they don't think you're a real martial artist. Yeah. yeah. I mean they said they said he's not in the they said they're not including Johnny in the new one because the the director or whoever or the producer or writer when they did that Q and A on Twitter he said he's not in the movie because people were getting upset he wasn't people were tweeting at him going hey why isn't Johnny in the new movie and he was like Johnny deserves his own movie so he's not in ours <laughs> which I guess <laughs> I, g- gives some faith that they're not trying to shove every character into it I guess what I love is I go to the Wikipedia page like there's a bunch of characters that are, if they're not in the film they're like blanked out you know like the black squares or whatever or gray squares. To note that they're not in the film. But for Johnny Cage, it's a purple square with TBA as to who will be cast. I mean, as Johnny Cage. Look, it's going to show, show up in the after credits. As yeah, Johnny I was about Cage. to say, it, it could be an after credits, but come on, people need to calm down. Just chill. But I mean, like tying into this, I guess that's the other thing. Like, yes, his character is very fun, and you could very much see a Johnny Cage movie being um, like more in line with like a Deadpool. I guess, you know, like an action mm. action comedy type type of movie. Uh, whereas in this one, the guy playing him does a fine job, but it, the character just doesn't really have an actual reason for being there, an actual storyline. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like, maybe they should have picked some more C-tier Mortal Kombat characters to just fill the rest of the, the cast around, like, three actually good ones, but mm. I guess they wanted to include a lot of the heavy hitters because that's how you can market it better. So it's like, how, how do you, especially in the 90s when, you know, you're the first of several movie, uh, sorry, game adaptations, like, how do you how do you balance that? Maybe you can't, but these days I feel like you could definitely exclude the bigger, heavy, the bigger names more so in a movie and, and be like, we're doing it for plot story reasons, so the movie's better, you know? Yeah. So you're keen to watch Mortal Kombat Annihilation after seeing the ending to this film? Not particularly, no. I've heard it shit as well. No. I will say, yeah, I'm not a fan of how the movie ends with, you know. Guess what? You didn't succeed. And spoilers for Monster Hunter, the Paul W.S. Anderson film that was released earlier this year, that ends the exact same way. (laughs) What, with just, uh, oh, you thought you saved the world, but you didn't. I mean, that's he does it in all these movies. He does it in re- every Resident Evil. Literally every Resident Evil movie. Have you have you watched those? Oh no, you probably not haven't. in a while. I haven't yeah, seen the. F- I watched the first literally one. Resident Evil movie. I I swear ends with basically the same shot where Alice thinks she saved the day, and then like the camera pans out to show that there's like more zombies, or there's like a bad guy somewhere, or someone they thought they killed survived, or like the 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 T virus or whatever is like sitting there somewhere and ready for. <laughs> You know, like it, it literally every movie is like, well, that's it. And then music kicks in, like, did it, did it, and like camera zooms out type of scenario. Yeah. It's like a thing. You mentioned music. Oh. Were you talking about the Mortal Kombat theme? Or? Yes. Freaking it's good. Fucking pre- it's, it's pretty ballsy just to open the movie, I think, like that. Yeah. Like, it, it could either be. And it, it works. That's a, let me, I'll say it works. But I feel like if that song wasn't right or like it really just didn't vibe with you or it didn't vibe with the fans or whatever, opening the movie that way, people could have very easily been like, ugh. You know, like if it was cringy, it would have been like the movie just starts and you're like, ugh. Like that doesn't work. But the song is actually good. It's, it's yeah. kind of cringy. But it's like good cringy. <laughs> you know, like it, it kind of works. Um, I don't know if you listen yeah. through the credits, but they had like a version where it lists all the different characters. 
nod to the song and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, pretty pretty good. good song. Mortal Kombat. It's been stuck in my head since I watched it the other day. So. Yeah, you've been constantly sh- singing it between <laughs> things we're doing. <laughs> so. <laughs> so yeah, it's been stuck in my head, so I guess it, it works. It's good, good song. Banger. Banger. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of this uh, Mortal Kombat spoiler cast. Let us know what you thought of the original film. And then, in one week's time, let us know what you thought of the current 2021 version of Mortal Kombat uh, over on Twitter by going to explosionnet.com slash Twitter. You can find all of our Twitter handles over there, or you can jump into our Discord at explosionnet.com slash Discord, uh, where you can freely discuss the film. Uh, help us out by leaving us a review on uh, Apple uh, Podcast. Help us by leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts or on Podchaser. And if you like this episode, if you thought it was worth a dollar, head on over to our Kofi page at explosionnet.com slash support and buy us a coffee. Uh, thank you very much for listening. And until next time, keep watching stuff, I guess. <laughs>